surprised by this move at all, surely. No, they it's like, oh, good. God, I've never seen him. Four. All right, that's the end of the Medusa discussion. Try not to bring it. We have the spin inside the cogs. Lots of damage being applied to Nightfall, but looks like Stinger is likely going to be the one to drop no. here. Pops that on the pork. Delicious bacon for him. I'm actually a little surprised that Nightfall is uh. not going to go for more because against Clockwork, it kind of sucks now. Clockwork just runs at the board. It's free food for him. That's double damage to Creep Stunner. Right? Yeah, it's really good against the Beast. Yara's still 10%. Your death approaches! Nightfall has all the vision. Another blade carry this time a TP, but the right clicks aren't coming! Yeah. And he's gonna die! Yeah. Unbelievable Beast timing master. from EG Thanks. with the rotations. And shoot it. That worth might Radiant be an advantage of Beast Coast. Dominus Cost yeah. has fallen. Oh, Nightfall's gonna fall. Focus fire looks like it's gonna be enough to kill him, but the cold embrace again. We've been seeing this time and time again. Cold embrace is such a value skill. Jira only the level five. He will get the kill on Nightfall. That is something. Actually, Stink would have made a difference or not. This hook shot comes in. Stinger comes up on the fly. He's just completely separated from his team. So all Nightfall can do is get the axes off as the shackle connects onto Sea Smile. The spear bet. Cheap value. Boom, there it goes. Oh, we got the dispose initiation from Crit. This looks to be an easy pickup on Stinger. Can EG find more? I think that's not the case. The Helm of the Overlord online or Nightfall. He's got the big black dragon that looks like Goofy. Very stupid face for a very powerful creature. Radiant's bottom. Again with the initiation from Crit, the rebound after the dispose. Viper Strike attempted TP ain't happening. Is that 15 second BKB? Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Just siege from afar. Veil of Discord applied. Shackle does connect. The fact that it continues on when the creep dies is strange to say the least. Radiant structures are fortified. And there's a fortification, so that's what EG was waiting for. But oh, they can still continue. Around. Okay. Yeah. I want to go back in. For the next wave. Radiant are scanning. They're scanning behind them, and you can see that Beast Ghosts are in the area, but they're not inside the scan zone right now. Actually, that's a scan for Beast Ghosts. He's gonna get stunned for the time being. Has yet to use his own. He's gonna get instantly primal roared and likely brought down swiftly. Off the BKB though, has the evasion to work with, but there is the curse from the trees. And Sea Smile will be dropping eventually. So that was a really good attempt, but they were ready for it. Stinger TP'd out right in the middle of the fight. That's funny. I, I, I mean, I like the background idea. Yeah. They couldn't catch Fly to start. They call him. Sidekick keeping RTZ quite healthy indeed. That is the third skill for Marcy, in case you didn't know. She does, in fact, have more than two. Here we go. Then Grin is the disposal in range. It is. And there's the roar. And there's the death for K1. So a nice. I like to see SNY kind of make a little comeback here. Also, Mr. Wyvern on this one. Uh, we got the Dispose into the Roar again, and this time it's going to find Gojira. But he does have buyback on this support Ember Spirit. This is going to be a freebie, although the fortification is finally activated. So, we resetting slightly. He has slights. Slight Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. It's easy with the sidekick. Looking to finish off the tier three, and he does so. Radiant's top tower. Onto the fallen. high ground they go. This is still an Aegis on Arteezy, so he is not attack. scared at all. Shackle not yeah. latching there. It feels like these goes to the camp. They just can't hit him. Yeah, Stinger trying to position from the other side to get a good hook shot off, but we've seen that happen before where he just dies oh, yeah. instantly. Dyer's bottom tower. Maybe it's Radiant's a good idea for them to just give up a rack. Look, look at Flying's positioning. He is so hard. Yeah, the jump pack, but the roar keeps Stinger in place, but he's in kind of an awkward spot in the map. They still find him in the end, and there's the blink with Whisper getting that Poison Nova off. He BKBs, looks like he'll get out just fine, but no. Curse at the last moment, but the right clicks from RTZ and company should be enough to take out Whisper and go. And see Smile not able to really win run to full effectiveness because of this MKB from RTZ. See if they continue on because the Aegis still has three minutes, so. Like MKB or something. This is dead anyway. 
Yep, this goes, sets up this potential kill. He's gonna pop the BKB, but Artesi's right clicks are too much to withstand. You can see Smile is dead, does have buyback, although K1's the one that has to be a little bit careful here. Blade Fury is not gonna keep him alive either. Double kill for Artesi, no buyback on K1, because he just finished that Mjolnir. This should set up on Juggernaut for quite some time. Radiance Middle yeah, Tower half, has fallen. Uh, for the entire duration. Radiance yeah. Middle Barracks are under attack. Uh, uh, Radiance Middle Barracks has fallen. Radiance Middle Barracks has fallen. They're, they're, they're playing. There's no way they can do this. Yeah, dispose. Another setup kill onto Venno. This skill is absurd. Artizi looking to get the Mega Creeps has the Daedalus now. He is Radiant so freaking farmed. There we go with the Mega Creeps. They can just continue on. I mean, the fact that they got Mega Creeps, they know that Juggernaut does not have buyback, so no reason to really go back any further. 55 seconds on Aegis. Radiance you can see Abed with the right click, the minus armor onto the towers. Radiance middle makes him push that much faster. He's still going to have to fight before Radiance the Juggernaut middle even Abed and dispose, and there's the poison up coming out from Whisper. He's already lost his teammate. He's going to get roared into Oblivion. That's a double kill for Arteezy. Hook shot into the back line. <laughs> As Stinger's like, get the hell out of here. I'm not interested in the fire. Because even if they had won this... Major, they wouldn't have had enough to go to TI. Toss into the shackle. On, this could set up first blood as Fly gets off the nature's attendance, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult to kill. In fact, it might be impossible as the Illuminate comes out. Fly still relatively healthy as Gojira with another toss back. You can see that crit is on his way, and Fly looks to be taken down here. He's trying to get the last. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little odd. Uh, a bit weird. I feel like Death Prophet probably wins that. You oh, just, yeah. You just run down the lane, Spirit Cycling. So, I, I mean, if this is the matchup you get, I think EG's happy with it. For sure. Uh, let's go. Oh. Oh. You see Gojira. That's not enough. Oh, here we go. I mean, oh, even Arteezy from the other side gets the trap oh, off. He signs thanks to the waiting oh, rift and deletes Whisper. And it looks like Stinger is going to be next as Nightfall has joined the party as well. And even Crit putting off his one exit. So two for nothing for EG as the chase continues on the Gojira. Waning Rift and still the foil expended here. Uh, lots of spells at the disposal of Abed and company. And Crit might just provide that for him. He's going to be coupled up with Abed and they're going to delete Stinger right off the bat. Abed's going to be A-OK. -okay. Crit might be the trade though. Again, he's wasting a lot of time. Especially with his taunts not making Beast Coast feel very good. Makes them walk around the Ice Shards. He's going to get X'd. Taunts again. And the kill will go to K1. Castle Charges. You expect that to stay the case for quite a while. Fly's getting caught out though. Avatos. Oh, get off the nature's yeah. attendance. No, burst it down. Right. Oh, he's gonna get the illusion rune. So be careful. Waning rift to the high ground. No vision up there. Sometimes they are, and they think. Artezi, Avatos. There's no refraction charges there. He takes the full limit of damage as well, but they're kind of out of gas. As two heroes dead right off the bat for Beast Coast, and Artezi will somehow live. Jira trying to find an angle to potentially finish off Arteezy in a little surprise fashion, but they can see him. And attempting to TP out, he might be successful actually. Fine, yeah. yeah. Either way, EG does get the tier one tower, two kills, and Arteezy lives. And now we're getting to the point back. Silent comes out from Arteezy. From Nightfall, I should say. Come on, scout this out. Nightfall into the pit. He goes. Eclipses pop of the BK is to mitigate all that damage. He gets the road chance snatched by Nightfall. So Roach technically goes to East Coast as the tour connects onto two. And that is the death of Abed. Now C Smile with that BKB not fearing anybody because Nightfall doesn't really have X or anything to work with right now. Arteezy is trying to limp away. Snowball's gonna save Nightfall for the time being. They're trying to turn this around to C Smile, but Nightfall just getting kind of left, right, and center. Arteezy buys back after his death. And they will find the kill on Gojira, but I'm not sure what the buyback is about. C Smile with T till three minutes, so not really fearing too much. Stinger looking for the shackle. Was he inside the wards, but you can see the ice shards blocking off Stinger's pursuit. So they have to take out the wards to be able to maneuver out, but Abed is taken out. Dyer's bottom tower that was under attack. Sea spot would be the yeah. primest of it. I think Beast Coast have an idea. Always have a crit with the walrus punch. He gets silenced immediately with that orc and then brought down to his knees. Nightfall with the exorcism and the BKB, focusing on Gojira for now. 
looks like he will go down. So it's a one for one for each respective position floor. But Exo is a huge cooldown. So Beast Coast could potentially. Have. Yeah, if, if they can get RTZ to save him. Oh, we got the snowball coming in, and they're going to just absolutely demolish Stinger. Looks like Gojira is next on the list. So Eiji with two quick pickoffs. They even defend the tier one tower. Still with the coil. It's going to be expanded onto two with the silence to follow from Nightfall with the BKB. Buy back off the Shadow Shaman, though. The Eclipse comes in, but it will it do enough damage? K1 is very healthy. He's going to get two kills here as EG now on the retreat. Looks like Fly is likely to be the third to fall as RTZ secured himself a triple kill. It's going to be going in first, as always. Pops the Nature's Attendance. There's a lot of instant orchid onto Crit. So he's fine with the BKB. The BKB now by Arteezy, but he was disarmed thanks to the newly picked up Halberd. I'm not sure who that's on right now, but it actually wasted pretty much the entirety of the BKB on Arteezy. Yeah. It's like it's on C Smart. Crypt Swarm is Roche is going to be spawning soon. Abed with the coil, only on the one, but it is on Gojira. The Spirit Siphon BKB. They're going to ensure the double kill for Nightfall. Abed getting quite low, has the illusory orb out. The buyback now to Gojira. The Lucent Beam being applied to fly. He does have buyback if they want to try to contest this Roche. Arteezy waiting behind the tree in meld form. I don't know if that's the right target though. Okay, they know they don't have vision. Yeah. At the very least, so Arteez is okay. going to be here for quite a while. Oh, that's a juicy one, though. That is a dieback for Gojira. If he goes down, there's the mouse right. Oh my god, it was a two shot. Arteez with the Crystalis Deso combo. And I believe that was the double meld as well. Yeah, Disgust. and Swift Link doesn't really matter. Right? Oh, Nightfall's looking for it. Yeah, K1. Silence coming out, trying to force this BKB. The Sobal's going to do just that. K1 trying to get out the Eclipse. There he does. And he's going to cut Rasta his life at the very least. And the right click damage coming through, but crit in the trees. He's going to survive as K1. They're trying to focus him down with the Exorcism. And a nice block from crit somehow surviving throughout all of that. Abed did drop, though. You can see Tusk goes down to the Illuminate. In the he was in the snowball. I think it popped right away for some reason. Might have been close. Yeah. We'll talk about the other option. Bajira doing a nice job of dissipating this smoke. You can see Adam Tusk immediately. Fly does not die to it, though. Gets off the nature's attendance. I fall with the BKB on the bottom side of the screen. Looks like he's pursuing somebody else. As Stinger gets crit into the air by the crit from crit. Very confusing indeed. But Whisper ends up netting himself a kill. Double buyback from Beast Coast and Tusk. Mr. Crit himself does not have one to get back into this fight. He He's is. Oh, but Whisper's there. And one shot, two shot. It's not enough. But Ovid comes in to clean it up. And that's a buyback now on Kala. And you see the puck using coil onto two, but Arteezy focus from above. K1 with the BKB. And the Eclipse as Nightfall taking a lot of the damage. He's going to take it off with the BKB. Attempting to tap, teleport out. Will be Come successful. Be Fly likely to get tossed back into the fray. And EG. Yep. And Arteezy does not have buyback. Dead for a full minute. And we've seen this story before. Once Zion's this first tower top goes top down, that's a Luna. Yeah, Glaives will decimate your base. Zion's so top set of racks goes the way of Beast Coast. And they're looking for more. In fact, they're looking for potential throning right now. All right, Gojira not able to get the Avalanche to connect. These tier fours already taking massive damage with the Rasta Wards in addition. The buyback still available for a couple of these heroes on Beast Coast. You can see, they're still not ready as Fly is trying to dodge out these torrents. Sorry, but Nightfall has kind of left his own devices. Has the BKB initiated right now, but left the spider link back to his base. As the Ancient is completely exposed right now. Abed buys back and after he dies here. And the Ancient already at half HP. They can probably just focus the throne now. You can see K1 getting extremely low, but still focusing it down. He's getting killed by killing the throne. 